Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and it's time to talk a little bit about price. Now, in this video, I've got opinions from all sorts of crypto media outlets, all sorts of chart analysts. And so, so what's the general sentiment? Well, I can tell you there's some positive, there's some negative here. Uh, no, nowhere near as doomsday sounding as a lot of the analysts sounded even just several days ago. There's, there's plenty of positivity out there. Um, and I'll give you a few examples before I get into the specifics right here at the beginning of the video. Uh, so, you know, Ethereum ran, uh, it, it led the uh, altcoin rally in 2017, so it's ha I'm happy to track that and, and when we're talking about videos having to do with price here, even though, of course, this is an XRP-centric channel, uh, the, you know, the price action of Ethereum and Bitcoin certainly fair game on the table here, even for a channel like mine. And, um, you know, there's an analyst, I'm going to cover this story, actually, here, I pulled the headline here, take a look at this, Ethereum price to target $700 in June after major pullback. I don't know what's going to happen, and I don't have I don't have financial background. I don't make price predictions, but I will say this because uh, it's fun to talk about this stuff. That wouldn't surprise me. I will not be surprised to see Ethereum one day at seven hundred dollars again. And today, I'll, I'll pull up the price in a moment, but it's a little over two hundred dollars, I think, something like that. Um, and then uh, there's this article. This was also about Ethereum, but this crypto has the most bullish chart of all parabolic rally inbound question mark. And so there are multiple uh, analysts out there that are are saying, uh, "Hey, Ethereum." Perhaps gonna pop, you know. That's something. Um, I have I have analysts that are going to share in this video that think that uh, not just Ethereum, but uh, good stuff going to happen price wise for XRP sooner than later, perhaps. And uh, and so I'll, I'll share with those tweets, uh, share with you those tweets in this video. Um, there's one negative one in terms of uh, per potential direction that I do want to share with you from a notable um, technical analyst here uh, named Magic, who is still saying that XRP's potentially going to go down to, I think he said 16 cents. I'll share with you the specifics. And he's a very pro XRP guy. And so understand that when he's reporting stuff that maybe has, sounds sounds negative, it's it's the same as me. If I'm saying something negative having to do with XRP, then it's just a genuine comment. I'm still Mr. XRP bull here, but you know, in his case here, uh, if he believes that the data is leading to the most likely indication being that XRP price is going to go down, he's just going to say that because he wants to be a real person. I appreciate that. Whether he's right or wrong, he's being genuine and honest, and he is pro XRP. And so understanding that there's no sort of uh, weird negative bias like you'd expect from a Bitcoin maxi troll, um, I'm happy to hear because I want to get to the truth of stuff. It doesn't have to always be puppies and ice cream. That, that's how it is in this channel, and that's why you'll see um, in the headlines having to do with a price for, for the videos that I make. Sometimes they're super bullish and super excited exciting and sometimes it's fun to cover huge price predictions and talk about it but sometimes you'll notice that uh, there are negative sounding headlines in these videos and that's because I just want to be a realist and get to the truth here and share with you opinions that are positive and negative okay it's not going to be sunshine and lollipops all the time got it so I'm just, I'm just saying all right but um, before going any further if you would please delicately tap that like button and if you are a fan of Ripple and XRP Get down with your bad self by subscribing to the Moon Lambo channel. And a scientific fact, this is and always will be the Moon Lamboist channel on all of the YouTubes. The market cap for the asset class is at 258 billion, Bitcoin's at 9,114, as I record this, and XRP is at 24.2 cents, and mostly sideways trading action for um, XRP. And this is mostly true for Bitcoin, too. You can see here's the 24-hour chart on Bitcoin. Um, close to 24 hours ago, it was a bit lower, then it jumped up and has been trading sideways ever since. Now take a look at this, XRP price prediction. Analyzing reasons for break to 25 cent resistance. Uh, this is a piece written by Dennis Surachek. He's a chart analyst for uh, crypto media outlet U Today. So let's see what our buddy Dennis Surachek has to say here. The cryptocurrency market may have finished its correction period and might be returning to its previous heights. <clears throat> All of the top 10 coins show positive price dynamics. The bigger gainer has been Tezos, XTZ, which has rocketed by more than 10% in the past day. It's worth noting that the price of XRP has almost not changed at all in the past week, despite its rate rising by 2.89% over the last 24 hours. Now, um, let me jump down, because I don't want to cover this whole thing here. Um, here we go, XRP slash USD, any resistance from bears at 25 cents? Well, uh, XRP quotes on the daily chart continue to fall. The price returned to below the moving averages, which are used in the presence of a bearish trend. It is not yet possible for the bulls to seize the initiative. 
However, uplink support is also important. On the RSI, one can see regular upward corrections as it tested the 30 region on the indicators. On a 4-hour chart, the price has adjusted as a part of the triangle model. The values of the RSI indicator broke through the downward trend line indicating probable upward movement. However, one should not exclude attempts to test the 21 cent level where the broken trend line is located and only after that the beginning of price growth. Confirmation of the rise will be a breakdown to the upper boundary of the downward channel with quotes remaining above the 25 cent level. And at the time of when, when this, this came out a little bit earlier today, um, the XP price is at 24.05 cents. And so again, general, generally more on the positive side in terms of price action, that's what this particular trade on us uh, would, uh, would expect here. Uh, next, take a look at this. This crypto has the most bullish chart of all parabolic rally inbound. And again, um, this is um, this is about um, Ethereum. And so I've got two articles on, on this basically. And so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to read both of them here. So there was a tweet included in here from uh, at Galaxy BTC who wrote, Simply the most bullish chart out of all major cryptocurrencies. The pump will be televised Ethereum. And you can see that he can he's shown here. This is the downward trend we've been talking about going on for the last two years. And hey, are we aware of market cycles? Well, your boy Moon Lambo is. And so it's typically when this happens, like there's going to be a big break up or a big break down. And in terms of historically what's happened, uh, there's been a big break up in terms of altcoin market dominance. And um, again, in 2017, XRP led that rally. I'm not XRP. I'm sorry. Ethereum led that rally, and then XRP ultimately followed along with pretty much every other altcoin on the planet. And so maybe Ethereum will do it again. I don't pretend to know, but uh, there are analysts out there talking about that concept, and I won't be surprised if that's the case. And so, again, you, you can see this article now. Again, Ethereum at $700. Well, uh, traders remain bullish on the second biggest cur uh, currency, Ethereum, expecting the price to boost this summer. However, some believe it may happen only after a major price pullback. Also, it looks as though major crypto holders have recently been accumulating Ethereum as if they are also expecting a price surge in the near term. Today, in a discussion below his tweet, trader at BTC underscore Jack Sparrow recalled an earlier tweet. In it, the expert made a prediction that around June slash July, Ethereum might surge to the $700 level or even higher. However, the trader believes it will first perform a major rollback uh, with drawing to the to $166 to $186 range there. And you can see there's a tweet indicating as much on your screen right there. Um, and so, we'll, we'll, again, we'll see where it goes. But to me, it's just a matter of time. People still have not figured out this asset class. They're still acting completely bonkers in a seemingly irrational fashion, which is what you'd expect when there's a frenzy around a new technology. And in this case, we're talking about, um, you know, money currencies here so it's like it's even bigger than the dot-com boom and bust well that couldn't be more clear right it's it and it's the birth of a brand new asset class fine it's been over a decade but geez we're still in the nascent stages of all this all right uh, next i want to i want to highlight this even though the outlook is not as positive but like i said not all sun, sunshine and lollipops all the time we just want to. I, I just. I love diversity of thought. I like to hear the positives. I like to hear the negatives, and I hope that you can appreciate that and want the same. So here's Magic, and uh, he's got about almost seventy thousand followers on Trading View here, and he wrote this today: XRP repeatedly failing at sixty one point eight percent retrace, and it's short. So I'm going to read this whole thing, but it's not long. <clears throat> but I, I want to make sure because he he only puts stuff out every so often, and when he does, it, I. I, I I personally really enjoy following him, and so I just want to share what he's putting out there into the world. And, um, and so here it is. Looking at XRP here, and we can see that price has continued to consolidate sideways since the big February decline. We can see here that price has failed to recover above the 61.8% retrace for eight consecutive days. The 618 has acted as severe overhead resistance. Additionally, price is below the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average, so XRP is showing sustained weakness below several key levels. 
However, the Mac D, which by the way is the freshest of all hip hop artists, Mac D, incredible talent, the voice of a generation. So, um, Magic writes, the Mac D appears to be setting up for a reversal to the upside. So, if we see a bullish Mac D crossover and price is able to close a daily candle above the 618, then we could start to see a recovery attempt. With that said, even if the price recovers above the 618, it will have to contend with the 50 and 200 moving averages shortly thereafter. As it currently stands, there is no real evidence of a recovery here. The 618 continues to act as resistance, and price continues to fail at it. So unless that begins to change, I cannot project a recovery here. You'll notice that there is a black trend line drawn on the chart. That is the potential neckline of a possible head and shoulders pattern in development. It isn't a sure thing because there isn't a completed right shoulder, but you can clearly see that there is a left shoulder and a head. So, if the right shoulder does complete itself and there is a breakdown from the neckline, it could be very nasty, causing prices to fall to the 16 cent range or lower. However, that depends entirely on a sustained breakdown below the black trend line. However, just below there is a rising dash trend line support, so even if we saw a breakdown of the black trend line, a, a price could catch some support on the rising dash red trend line. If that falls, though, uh, um, I think the selling could get pretty intense as traders come to the realization that the prophesized moonshot isn't happening. And so, so there you go. He's not saying absolutely it's going to go down that firmly, but he's talking about probability of outcomes, which is what you would expect from a responsible um, technical analyst. He's just being honest and sharing his opinion, and I appreciate that, even though it's mostly, um, mostly prophesizing, if you will, a negative outcome. That's fine. I just I want to hear all sorts of diverse opinions. Uh, next, uh, here's another tweet from Magic here, and he wrote this. I will say this though, if stocks keep getting demolished like this. I would be very suspicious of a crypto recovery. Crypto is a risk on trade, and it isn't likely to perform well when Wall Street is freaking out and trying to escape risk. And I think that kind of speaks for itself. Next, here's a tweet from Patty Stash. He writes, oh man, with four exclamation points, which indicates very, very much wow, very, very much excitement. And he writes, I love this one, and it perfectly fits the same exact narrative as what I've been saying as well. It seems many of us all collectively see the same thing. Our time is near hashtag alt season. And uh, this is in response to a tweet from at Moonshilla, um, who uh, shared this chart. It's an altcoin market cap dominance chart, indicating potential breakout very soon. And he wrote, uh, hashtag altcoin dominance three, two, one so it's a countdown <laughs> next here's another tweet from patty stash and here's the chart um this was also yeah this is also altcoin market cap dominance chart here and here's what he wrote update on weekly altcoin chart still riding nicely above the trend line still no silly green candles yet however i expect ethereum and xrp to pick up momentum very soon and potentially blow altcoin dominance Heading into having. He's talking about Bitcoin having, of course. So, and then he wrote hashtag uh, Bitcoin, hashtag altcoin, hashtag dominance. And so there's still conceptually this idea that, of course, Ethereum could lead the altcoin rally, but uh, XRP could potentially have a lot to do with that as well. All right, last tweet for this video, and then I'll wrap things up here. Bitcoin. And this was the most uh, brief tweet that I've seen from him in terms of price direction, but he did cite in a different tweet that he's busy today. <laughs> so you wrote Bitcoin, retest previous resistance at 8,900, then send it. And then that was it for how, what he wrote in the tweet, but he has an arrow in this, uh, this chart, Bitcoin USD chart upward. And you can see what ultimately unfolded because this was um, earlier today. What was the time on this? Yeah. So this is this morning, uh, 6.54 AM, March 5th here. And of course, uh, Bitcoin price, again, as I record this, 9,114. So it did break above that. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I did have one more tweet here. I forget. I'm sorry about this. I had one more tab open. I didn't see. Uh, this was from Chart Analyst DIY Investing. And he wrote this, and I just found it entertaining, so I wanted to share it with you. I like this guy. He wrote, uh, most Twitter personalities are certified yes-men who are going to tell you everything you want to hear to gain clout. Um... I'm not going to necessarily speak on that. Maybe there's truth to that, but I strive to not be that. And if I, that's why I'm not afraid to put out what like if there's if there's negative headlines that need to get out because that's what people are talking about. I'm like I just want the truth. That's it. Like I said. 
Um, and so this this resonated with me conceptually. But then he wrote this, and it is kind of entertaining. He wrote, "Not me." So he is, seems to have a similar mindset to me, and it's true. He will say things, and uh, he that he knows some people are not going to be so happy about. And I respect that. I really do. Anybody that's willing to do that. And he he wrote uh, he wrote this. Ninety percent of you will lose. Your S word coin isn't the next Bitcoin. Your S coin. S word coin is going to die. You'll be liquidated. You won't get a girlfriend. <laughs> now that last part, that did make me laugh. So I, I had to share that with you though. And a lot of people, look, so those that are going to lose, I think it's um, well, a couple of things here. Uh, those that are trying to time markets, those that are traders, history and data shows, yes, the vast majority of it, yeah, you're going to lose money. And I know that, so I'm not interested in engaging in those behaviors. Now, if you really know what you're doing, you're a trader, and you're finding profits and trading super duper, uh, DIY, DIY investing is apparently one of those people. So, uh, cool. Like, uh, you should be proud of that for sure, because uh, it's like, oh, you're, you're a minority, and that's impressive. But, uh, you know, that's that's not uh, the case. And then on top of that, you know, utility actually matters, I believe. So, if you, if you fast forward enough, most of these coins are not going to be in here in any sort of meaningful way in the future anyway. And then uh, you won't get a girlfriend. Well, <laughs> that's just funny. <laughs> that's it for this video, though. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.